Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Episode one. Bom, bom, bom. Big Ev. Yeah. It's a motherfucking Big Talk Podcast, motherfucking episode one. It's the one and only. Tap in, Tony, the one and only. Your boy, Big Motherfucking Ev. You know what I'm saying? And this is. My show, the first show, official, Big Talk Podcast. I got my motherfucking main man, my my brother. Yep. In the back, on the production. King Keith's in the motherfucking back. Yeah, sure. You know, we back. We, we in this motherfucker, man. It's the first episode. It's episode one. Excuse me. Lighten up weed. You know, this is a motherfucking real podcast. You know, we gonna talk about all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? We go and we we do everything from sports entertainment, you know what I'm saying, music, politics, whatever's hot on the brain, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna kick it off first episode. We ain't gonna hold your motherfuckers too long on this first episode though, so we're gonna get right into it, man. So Keith. I know you in the back, but I think I'm gonna need you to be interactive with me though. Alright. You understand me? Yeah. So we got motherfucking what we got on this topic list. Uh oh. Will Smith <laughs> slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. <laughs> so I need to, I need to know what was on that nigga's mind. That nigga had enough of that shit. Cause, uh, <laughs> man. That nigga had enough of people talking about him and Jada. Yeah, I know, man. Motherfuckers talking about Jada too much. That nigga got hot. He, he wasn't having it no more. You feel me? I'm not having that shit. You know? It could have been a more respectable slap if the nigga would have slapped him backstage. You don't do it in front of the white people, man. You feel me? You don't, you don't slap that man in front of all these white folks, man. Come on, man. You got to do better than that. Come on, Will. We hold you on a higher standard, nigga. You just... That wasn't Will. That was Mike Lowry that showed up that day, nigga. Uh-uh. And that nigga said Mike Lowry. <laughs> Mike Lowry. That nigga, that nigga was a character, huh? That nigga was too much a character. He had to go. He wasn't on stage, though, but... It, Real uh, talk, you know, it was it was some bullshit though, man. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a nigga like me up there, cause I think would've walked up there, got his ass beat. Oh god, nigga, you ain't gonna slap me in front of all them people, nigga. You ain't gonna slap me, period. I don't give a fuck if it was me and you alone in the room, nigga. I'm beating the shut up those stupid ass nigga. You know, you're fucked up, nigga. Oh god. You feel me? So yeah, Will, you know, man, he got some some deeper shit going on. This is this nigga got some definitely some issues internally, cause that nigga just snapped on that one. You know what I'm saying, nigga? That nigga walked on stage. This nigga who yelling in the Stop. crowd. You oh, feel God. me? That nigga was like a motherfucking. That nigga was like a uh, a black mom at a motherfucking high school basketball game in the crowd. <laughs> there you go, baby, go. Look at that. That nigga was. Don't talk about my wife. Goddamn, look at that boy. You feel me? Oh, that X-rated motherfucker. Yeah, that nigga was slapping the shit out of that nigga. Box right in the I ain't even. They ain't, you know what they didn't show too. They they never showed Jada face through the whole debacle of that. They showed her before, but they ain't show her as it was happening. I want to see that bitch how she was looking while yeah. I was going on. Was she looking at shock? Was she was she laughing? What was she all? I don't see that nigga get up from the seat. <laughs> Man, I ain't see all that. Yeah, they ain't show that either. Yeah, man. But yeah, Will. Will was a he a motherfucker for that matter. You know what I'm saying? But you know, couldn't it be in me? You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? You slapping him? I hope you know. Chris might catch anybody. Say, you know, I thought that shit was fake though. Can't lie, I thought that shit was fake. Yeah, I did too. So, but uh, it looked a little staged. But you know, could have been real. Could have been something. You know what I mean? But what the Oscars? I didn't even know the Oscars was over. Them niggas said on a meme, it was the nigga, him and, his, him and with Jada in the Oscar. My mom put this shit in the fucking group chat I got with my sisters. Just she, it was it was like, uh, what they shit said? They had to give Will a trophy of Jada to, to make him feel better. And they showed the trophy as a bald head motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> the Oscar trophy like a little bald head motherfucker and shit. Looked like Jada double ass. Hell no. She got alopecia though, so you know what I'm saying? So we gotta respect that, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we send her healing energy, healing energy. You know what I'm saying? That nigga. Hopefully she, but she could wear a wig though. I don't understand that. Like, you, you, 
If she was my wife, I'd be like, throw a wig on that shit. Throw a wig on a pig. Fuck this bitch, put a put a goddamn man. wig on that motherfucking head, bitch. Don't nobody gotta know you, bald. You feel me? Bitch, get a lineup at least. That bitch got the Mister Clean. <laughs> 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 that bitch here. That bitch. And when he hit her from the back, I hit her from the back and just want to slap that motherfucker like. <laughs> <laughs> slap her in the back of the head and shit. Like, he only slap her ass. He slapped the back of her head and shit. <laughs> when she was getting piped by August, that bitch had a full head of hair though. Like August was piping her. That bitch had weave and that shit. That bitch had all that shit. Will start piping her. She went bald. She said, "Fuck it, I'm cold." <laughs> I'm back with Will, I'm going bald. <laughs> Yeah, man, nah, man, let me get on. It's a jokes, though, man. Will, we love you, man. You still that nigga, man. That new Bel Air show, Fire, too. I got to catch back up. I'm behind. You yeah, can check that Bel Air out yet? I ain't seen it yet. Fire, it's fire. It's pretty good. I ain't, I seen like three three episodes, maybe four. That snowfall came on today. What? That snowfall came on today. I'm behind on the snowfall, too, nigga, because I had lost the goddamn remote to my damn fire stick. Baby mama didn't lost it much. She lose everything. So I had to you get get a different one, but nigga, I'm back on. I was watching that shit the other day. I'm probably gonna watch that shit right now. Yeah, and that Tommy, that power, you feel me? I ain't watched that shit. That Tommy one, I started watching it, but I ain't caught up with it yet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's all right. You let it build up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we gonna we gonna we gonna go ahead and move on from Will and Jada. You know, I hope she ain't doing no more entanglements. We gonna we gonna send <laughs> we gonna send healing energy and all that and all the good energy to Will, hopefully and Jada. Hopefully they household get together, you know what I'm saying? The kids is fucked up, the parents slapping motherfuckers, they all fucked up, so this is you know, at least they rich, so But uh we gonna move on, man. What I got on the docket, man, what we we talk about, man. Oh, we gonna jump into some sports right now, man. I mean, where should we go, man? We gonna get into the Kyrie thing. My nigga Kyrie back. Finally. Kyrie's back. You I feel me? I don't even like Kyrie, but I like him now. That nigga left Cleveland. So, you know, if y'all don't know, I'm from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Lorraine, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Close to Cleveland. But, you know, we represent Cleveland all day, too. I used to live in Cleveland for how long. So, <laughs> you could be. So, we were at Cleveland, too. So, Cleveland is a city. And motherfucking... This nigga left us, so I kind of hated on him at first, though. But I got some Kyrie shoes. Them bitches fire. <laughs> and that nigga, and he, he, he stepped on them niggas' necks. He didn't give a fuck. He said, I'm sitting there. All the motherfuckers was talking shit about this vaccine right. shit. But uh, now it's lifted before the season over with. Now look at motherfuckers. They feel stupid now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. He won. He beat y'all niggas. He did all your media motherfuckers. I ain't no media nigga. Maybe I am now. It's my first podcast. <laughs> I'm a media personality now. But I wasn't there when talking that shit. That nigga came, standing on his shit, shit, and nigga, now he can still play again, you feel me? He ain't have to conform to what the motherfucking government wanted to do. And, and he's still here, he's still alive, still breathing, family's still good. So a motherfucking case say, shit, you feel me? To keep it real, you feel me? So, you know, we gonna see what they do, baby. What you, what you think, they gonna win the finals? Who you got in the finals, man? What you thinking? Finals going. Suns and who? Suns going. Ain't nobody in the West beating Suns. Suns versus who? Next. Warriors. 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 Is this nigga <laughs> dumb? <laughs> Steph Curry's out, nigga. He's not even there. It doesn't matter when he come back. That's Steph They're not man. making it. They still need. They need somebody else. They need Warriors and Bucks. We got Warriors and Bucks. We gonna put hundred push-ups on that. I'm going Suns and Nets in the finals. Let's get it. Suns and Nets. That'll be a fire ass finals. And Ben Simmons gonna come back. Yikes, they be pissed. Ben Simmons <laughs> gonna come back first game of the playoffs, nigga, and drop 40. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my place. Let me come back with a J. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, man. What? How what else you? going on? Oh, yeah, like that. This I got this in parentheses. Lakers are trash, or Lakers are ass, actually, that's what I put, so, that's a, that's a topic of discussion. 
My nigga Brian, you know my favorite player, bro. You are, but you yeah. Ron Ron the team, Ron he said that's his favorite player. Right? I don't even got no favorite player right now. My favorite player is. Ron will be my favorite player. Who my favorite player, player right now? I used to have favorite players when I was young. Right now, I don't know. My favorite player right now. I got a lot of favorite players. Right I ain't gonna lie. I like, I like, I like, John, like, I like John Morant. I like Murray too on the Spurs. Murray. John Morant, ball. my favorite player for sure right now. That's my that nigga hard. Yeah, I'll take Murray. That nigga hard. Murray hard, but he ain't been playing. I'm talking about on the Spurs. Oh, DeJounte Murray. I was thinking yeah. of, of uh, what's the nigga on the Denver name? Oh, Jamal Murray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of him. Yeah, Jamal Murray. Yeah, he'll be Jamal Murray. Easy. Yeah, man. Motherfucking, uh, that nigga, John Morant. Them niggas got a chance to win the finals, too. That'll be. Games and he ain't even playing. Though. He ain't playing. They still winning. They nice. They got an all-around nice team. They want to be like, he not MVP. I feel like that is MVP. Nah, he ain't the MVP, though, because the team's still good without him, and. He, he he missed too many games, man. So he I mean, can't that win shows MVP. how good the team is, though. You don't know that's how good the team is. He don't, you know, MVP. I say MVP this year. I give it to. They might go to Jokic. They might give it to Jokic again. Not Jokic, man. They record. I mean, they, they got the same record as niggas in the East, but it don't matter. They conference. This about the conference. Devin Booker. Devin Booker been moving. I think Devin Booker should be higher ranked because of the way they winning. Yeah. And B. And B, maybe. Yeah, and B. Uh, Giannis up there. They don't want to give Giannis no props, but they right there at the top. The East going to be interesting. I don't know. You feel me? It's the East a tough gonna race. Be interesting. Who gonna come out? It's a lot of good Tough teams. race. Um, well. You know, besides that, yeah, Lakers is, is they trash. Right. Kobe's that nigga still. You know what I'm saying? If y'all can't see it, I got some Kobe shit in the back. Kendrick Nunn never came. Man, Kobe shit I'm everywhere. You feel me? Kendrick Nunn didn't play all season. What's up with this nigga? He got a headache. He can't play. Westbrook, Westbrook. Westbrook is ass. He can't play no defense. None of these niggas can't play defense. Ron can't play no defense. So, you know, we going Suns and Brooklyn. He going Boys. Golden State and who? Bucks. Bucks again. And who you picking to win? Bucks. Warriors. He got Warriors. Steph Warriors. Curry with his fourth championship. Warriors and to catch LeBron in titles. And then he got, uh, and then I got, I'm going to take Sun, so CP3 going to win his first one this year, man. I got CP3 winning his first, man, submitting his legacy. Everybody wanted him to do it last year. They couldn't hold Giannis because they're going to they gonna get another team. They're going to they gonna, they gonna ball out, team ball. Booker going to show out. Chris Paul going to man the field. Kevin Durant going to choke like usual because he's a bum. <laughs> and uh, Kyrie going to probably get hurt. So he probably ain't gonna be there. He gonna get hurt. I, I, he ain't gonna finish the whole playoffs. Don't wish that upon you. I don't wish upon him, but <laughs> that nigga is gonna probably get hurt. So <laughs> CP3 might get hurt too, though. Shit, yeah. that nigga don't stay hurt. So we gonna see. He's old, but they not old. We gonna see, but uh, I'm taking Suns. So that's our NBA takes of the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we gonna talk about some music. Who who dropped lately, man? We got any new drops going on? Anything hot in these streets? Everybody's ass. All the rappers out there, your ass. <laughs> that new Big Ib, that Ohio, go go stream that Ohio, man. This is not a promotion for my music on this podcast, but right now it is. So I'm sponsoring this. Is, matter of fact, let's go to a uh, one of our sponsors. Today's show is sponsored by. Dohio. If you want some dope merch, something you can wear for the whole family, something fire. I got all the different colors too. You know what I'm saying? I got your red. I got your. I got your purple and gold for your Lakers colors. If you still like them, even though they ass. Uh, I got. <laughs> I got the original. This is the original right here. You know what I'm saying? Real um, psychedelic. You know what I mean? And you know I do retros. I could do um, customs. I could put you put your names on them. We can do whatever you want to do. So, you know what I'm saying? If you need that, you know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up, man. 
at uh on you you could dm me uh instagram right now the website is coming right now it's on the way up still under construction but you can dm me right now for personal orders i'll let you know and it's uh you know big underscore ibb for the um Instagram, that's at big underscore ib, B-I-G underscore I-B-B, and thanks to our sponsor, back to the show. Um, but yeah, new music. Back, uh, these rappers is ass, though, like I was saying. Uh, who who dropped some hot shit? Dirk. Dirk dropped some hot shit lately. NBA young boy, they beefing. What's up with they beef? They ain't no real beef. Them niggas both soft. <laughs> they both that. little as hell. Like I slap both of them. Niggas can fight. <laughs> in real life, neither one of them can fight though. Like we all know that. Like all these niggas be there. like if they only shooting you, they they not gonna do shit. Like even little ass niggas, we all know. Both of them niggas from the hood though. They, from, they the hood. from the hood. I ain't saying not that. They is from the hood, and they might be about that shit. I'm not saying <laughs> they ain't. They might be. But in real so life, if I meet if it's if it's me and them nigga, I will beat the fuck out of both of them <laughs> niggas, bro. Y'all niggas cannot fight, bro. Like you niggas are weak. You niggas gotta hit the gym. Start doing some push ups, little ass niggas. I wanna see NBA Young Boy and Lil Dirk in a fucking celebrity boxing match. Put the guns down, put your hands up, little ass niggas. So let Triller, Triller. Hey, I need some fucking money for this shit. I got the fucking lineup. I already added y'all last time with the with one of the lineups I had. Way better fucking lineups than anything y'all getting right now. I'm the nigga need to be doing. I need to be on the promotion team getting these motherfuckers together. Really putting these fights down. We can make some real millions of motherfuckers together really putting these fights down we could make some real millions of dollars together you know what i'm saying but we need little dirk and nba young boy y'all niggas put the guns down nba young boy what are you on house arrest right now yeah. nigga come on man i know you in the house doing some push-ups something you still look small but y'all y'all niggas both about the same size so i think that's a good matchup you feel me two little niggas who you got NBA young boy or Lil Dark in the boxing match. <laughs> I'm going NBA young boy. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna think who I want. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't never seen either of them fight, but the way that nigga rap, I just feel like he'll knock that nigga out. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know. Dirk from Chicago though. Them niggas is hard. Them niggas be throwing hands out there. You going Dirk? I think Dirk. I was, it's a tough decision. I, I, I was thinking Dirk because he, he kind of looked like he might could throw some hands. He could hoop a little bit. Might be athletic. I don't know. I mean, a young boy looked like he a dirty fighter though. Like, you know what I'm saying? He a headbutt that nigga though or something. He'll do something dirty in the ring. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna go out like no bitch. I don't think. He either gonna he either gonna get knocked out. NBA Young Boy either got no hands at all or he got hands. You feel me? He one one of the two. It's no he ain't like all right with him. He either could throw them shits or he gonna get knocked the fuck out. One of the two. So set that up, Triller, and I need my check. Uh, who else we got, man? You feel me? I got a couple other ones too, man. Check the Instagram. I got I got that post still up, man. I got some other ones. We the streets want to see still. That'll go up, man. Millions too. You know what I'm saying? It'll be that shit not that this shit'll get views. Jake, Jake Paul. What, what's that nigga name? Jake Paul? Jake Paul, holla at me, bruh. Man, let's 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 get this shit popping. I can get some, I know the real fights people want to see. I know what people want to see right now, nigga. And I guarantee we can fuck with this shit. So everybody at Jake Paul. Tell that nigga tap in. Tell that nigga come do an interview on the uh, motherfucking Big Talk podcast too. Tap in with me. So yeah, oh yeah, Kanye. Oh man. We got to get into this Kanye nigga, man. This nigga, wow. He a wild boy. He let, he let the white boy pipe his wife down. Uh -huh. <laughs> you feel me? Who, Kanye? <laughs> damn, they blocked Kanye? <laughs> they blocked him. He took him off social media. Oh, damn. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I don't even follow that nigga. I don't even know. Who, I didn't even know he had an IG. I thought he was one of them like niggas that don't. <laughs> damn. What did he do? He, what, he was saying some wild shit. Oh yeah, man. So what? Man, shit. People do that type shit every day. They don't get blocked. He, you feel me? That nigga Pete put his foot. He's like in a bed with your wife, nigga. I was like, damn. Pete Davidson piping her down. He probably licking her booty hole and everything too. Kanye wasn't doing all that. Pete said, I'm about to eat this whole butt. <laughs> Pete don't give a fuck. He been waiting for this for years. He been like, oh, yeah. That nigga face diving in that ass.
Kanye was in that motherfucker, nigga. He Kanye had them dumbass boots on walking around the house, <laughs> talking about <laughs> talking about some some stupid ass motherfucking Steve Jobs and motherfucking Walt Disney looking ass nigga. Kim over there like I ain't trying to hear this dumb shit. I'm trying to get my ass ate. You over here talking about Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Davidson <laughs> Pete Davidson over there Knocking the stuff in <laughs> Oh god man But yeah Kanye man we, we want you to Come on man That's that's another one Kanye versus Pete Davidson man If we can get that nigga It's going digital It's Nigga it's going crazy Nigga we gonna make We gonna make a hundred 500 million, nigga. Everybody's tuning into that, nigga. Everybody watching that, nigga. No lie. You know that. Triller, holla at me. Um, uh, Jake Paul, tap in. Oh, yeah, nigga. And I'll fuck with y'all, niggas. Uh, y'all make that body armor shit, man. Jake Paul, what's the other Paul, brother? Logan, Logan Paul, you make that body armor, or not body armor, uh, that prime, that prime shit. You feel me? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I know about that prime. Shout out to motherfucking Logan and that prime shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, fuck with me, man. Uh, well, yeah, man. And, oh, yeah, and that Kanye album, uh, it was ass. That's just my opinion. It wasn't. It was all right. I don't know. It just wasn't good to me. Everybody was talking about how great it was. You feel me? But I ain't heard a nigga play that shit since it came out. I heard the one song with Five Yo get played a few times. That's it. And that was the only song that was tight. A couple of other ones was cool. They was like, a couple of other ones was cool. I ain't gonna lie. A couple of them was cool, but for the most part, come on, Kanye. I ain't heard the stem player one yet. I'm not paying no 200, 400. Fuck out of here. I'm sure it's on the internet. You probably can find it, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. Kanye, get the fuck out of here, man. That nigga's, that nigga's done. Stop rapping, dog. <laughs> Stick to making beats, nigga. No, nah, man, I mean, but if you want to get a feature, you want to do something. <laughs> you want to do us all together, I'll just fuck with you. <laughs> no, no, it's Kanye cool, though, man. That nigga wild boy, though, man. Yeah, nigga, but uh, what else? What else on the music side? What they got going on out here, man? Ain't shit going on on these streets. It's a lot of hot R&B, a lot of hot females. Shout out to uh, Big Lotto, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite Red Bones. Out there, she out there blazing these streets, you feel me? Big Lotto, and that's the only big that can fuck with me. And all these other big who, big what, big whoop, big blah, blah. I'm the only real rap, big ib, nigga. That's the realest big out here. The only other one is Big Lotto, you feel me? Her and me, we the only bigs in the game that's really, really spitting like that right now. Everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Just second best, at, at best. You understand me? But uh, who else blazing these streets out here, you feel me? All these other, all these other, a lot of them females that was blazing a couple years ago that then uh, fell back. We ain't gonna say no names, but um, a lot of the, the male rappers too. Nigga, we don't even remember none of the half y'all niggas' names from two years ago. Right. You feel me? So, but it's about that time, man. We about to wrap this shit up, man. It was a good first episode podcast. You know what I'm saying? Right now. We gonna end this motherfucker off with Big Ib stories of the day. And today, what story should I tell? I got so many stories in this bag of goodies, you know. And if anyone's out there watching, all these stories are fictional. If my baby mama's listening. It's just, just for entertainment. <laughs> if the police are listening, it's all entertainment. It's not real. None of this shit's real. None of these opinions reflect any of the opinions of the <laughs> Big Ib network. These are only personal opinions of Big Ip. <clears throat> Where do I want to go with this story? We're going to have to edit this part. 
I'm trying to think of a good story to tell the people right now. Hmm, what was a good one? Should I go back to my pimp days? Should I go back to when I used to sell CDs? Oh, uh, should I tell them the story where I? I'll tell them the story when I, uh, the story you said you was that you thought was pretty funny about the nigga in school. So we had a nigga one time. I was probably junior in high school. And um, everybody, you know, we didn't been in fights and shit, so everybody didn't been in a lot of fights and shit at school. I went to a school. I had moved from Kentucky back to Ohio, and we was, uh, you know, I'm a cocky motherfucker. I talk shit. I just, you know, I probably get on people's nerves because I talk too much. Been like that forever, so. We, you know, I, I, we got like a home ec class. I'm in a fucking home ec class. I mean, uh, it's a fucking, it's a... Uh, I'm in a group, so I had this group all year. It's me, a white dude, he, uh, he like a football player. You know, I'm a basketball player. He a football player, a white dude, and this a girl, and this other little like little Mexican dude. So you know, one day we we she, we making some biscuits. You feel me? The the t- <laughs> the, the whole rec teacher say, you know, make these biscuits. Da 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 da. So, boom, boom. We putting main ingredients. I'm making ingredients. You know what I'm saying? I'm being me in class, just having fun. I, I look over. I see the white boy. He 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 had, he had looked like he having a hard time with the biscuits. So, I pull up on him. Like, hey, bro. You don't know what the fuck you doing, man. Let me see these biscuits. Let me show you how to whip these motherfuckers. I'll start whipping the biscuits, right? You feel me? I'll grab the motherfucking bowl from the school. Start whipping these motherfucking biscuits, right? I'm like, nigga, yeah, you got to put your wrist in these motherfuckers, nigga. You ain't never been in the kitchen, nigga. Bap, bap. So I'm whipping the motherfuckers, right? Lo and behold me, I didn't know. This nigga was on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, that motherfucker said, Motherfucker, I'm tired of your shit. I said, what? I was in shock. I said, hey, Cole, you need to calm your ass now, man. He said, nah, fuck that. <laughs> you always talking shit. <laughs> I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> I said, hey, bruh. <laughs> It's whatever, man. Just don't touch me, man. So I'm less so, you know, he's aggressive now. Like, mind you, this nigga, look, he's a little football, stocky, white boy. Look like he do a little roid on the side trying to get on the field. I say, hey, man, don't touch me. He say, fuck you. Boom, push me. Two hands to the chest. Push the shit out of me. <laughs> push me back. I was still a stumble. Oh, shit. Next thing you know, boy, I cocked back that right hand, hit that nigga on his chin. Bing! <laughs> that nigga fell. He took a seat in that motherfucking chair. Bong! Like a <laughs> little white, the little, uh, little Puerto Rican cat. This little nigga had on a tall T. This is back in the 2000s. This nigga had on a tall T. That motherfucker was down past his knee, looking like a nightgown and shit. This nigga hopped up and said, oh, shit, pointing at his ass, that shit. This nigga get up. You know, I hit him with a ping, ping. Hit him with like two piece. He just kept falling. Ping, ping, boom, he fall. He get back up, bing, boom, hit him again, he fall, get back up, you know, hit him with a one more, boom, he fall. He barely, he, I think he might have scratched me. Security ran in. He was on the ground. I told them niggas don't touch me too. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas ain't touch me. Them no, you know what I'm saying? I've been, you know, if you didn't know, I'm fucking 6'6". Six, six. I was 6'6", six, six, 225 in high school, you feel me? So them niggas knew too. Like, you can get these too, nigga. So, but you know what I'm saying? That was just a little story back in the day of me whooping some niggas' asses. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I was talking about, like, Lil Dirk and Lil, Lil, Lil NBA Baby, or uh, NBA Young Boy and Lil Dirk. Them niggas don't want these hands, nigga. Them niggas, I mean, but but I, I, I get them niggas in the gym, though, get their hands right, you feel me? Y'all niggas holler at me if y'all need to get your hands right, man, you feel me? But uh, this was motherfucking episode one of the Big Ear motherfucking podcast, the motherfucking Big Talk podcast, you know what I'm saying? I'm your host, motherfucking Tap In, Tony, the one and only Big Ear. I got my motherfucking producer in the back, King Keys, you know yeah. And you know what I'm saying? We gonna wrap this motherfucker up, man. Everybody, man, y'all tap in, subscribe on that motherfucking YouTube page. Motherfucking follow me on Instagram, B-I-G underscore I-B-B, you know what I'm saying? Holla at me. 
Hey.